Hey weirdos, this is Evan Jarvix with Make Oklahoma Weirder, and this is your local music vlog for the week. It is Saturday, Saturday morning, probably Saturday afternoon when this actually gets uploaded, um, which is a little bit regrettable um, because uh, the big thing I want to talk about right now is the Play It Loud series, and um, it would have been a, probably more timely if I'd put this out yesterday, but I just didn't didn't make it happen yesterday. Um, although we did put out a new article yesterday, if you missed it, uh, shout out to Neo Romantics from Tulsa, uh, got the debut, a new single from them, uh, called The Devil in the Details, so check that out on the blog if you have not, uh, heard it yet. Anyway, Play It Loud is happening tonight, um, well, I mean, it's been happening, it's an ongoing, uh, video series, um, but they, they kind of happen in seasons and then culminate in live shows. And so this is season two. Uh, we had season one, uh, kind of last year where you have, uh, okay. So basically it's, um, it's kind of this joint project between, uh, uh, Outsiders Productions, which is kind of like a filmmaking, uh, company hosted by Adam Hampton, who I know a little bit just from my observation of kind of the independent filmmaker, uh, circle around here. Um, and he basically, uh, does extended interviews, um, with, uh, local musicians and then, uh, sort of works them up in a sort of framework that kind of balances you know, what they're talking about with, uh, you know, intimate moments of like performance and then culminates in like an actual full, uh, song performance at, um, a, a full stage, uh, which is at the grand casino, um, which is the other part of this. Uh, none of this would happen if not for the grand casino, um, which is over kind of in the Shawnee area. If you go out on, uh, I-40, um, used to be known as Fire Lake, uh, but now it's just the Grand Casino. And they have a stage out there. They have music out there, uh, and comedy and whatnot. They have, they have shows out there the way a lot of, uh, oh, the way a lot of casinos, um, get shows. But, uh, it's, it's really nice to see, um, a casino actually working in some way with local music and local artists, uh, which is really rare because I typically just write casinos off as a place to see, like, um, you know, uh, comedians that maybe aren't on there, you know, uh, aren't selling out like the Criterion or whatever. Um, and, you know, kind of like has been seventies artists and, uh, and then like, as far as like local bands go, it's always just cover bands that just play on the weekends, you know, and take requests and all that. And so I've never really considered casinos to be all that interesting or useful or anything when it comes to original music in Oklahoma. Um, but I mean, here we have this thing called play it lot, uh, play aloud, which is really cool. And so, uh, each season we've got four different artists and for a while I felt like it was all, I felt like it was all going to be, you know, kind of country folk stuff that, you know, a general wide audience around Oklahoma would be a little bit more, you know, into, uh, without a lot of, uh, like, I think, I think one thing, thing that I mentioned early on, on Twitter was like, oh, the, this is a thing that's probably never going to have any hip hop or anything in it. And I mean, there, there still hasn't been any, but I feel like with season two, especially, um, they've really kind of made it a more diverse palette of music that happens here in Oklahoma. And I, I really do appreciate that. And, um, I watched, like the Ali Lauren uh, episode where Adam Hampton is actually talking about how this isn't really even the kind of music that he gets into, um, but that he uh, really appreciates, you know, what, what uh, uh, Lauren Claire, who is the person primarily behind Ali Lauren. Ali Lauren is not the name of an individual. It's the name of a project, uh, the Ali Lauren project, which is all spelled out properly in the video, which is really nice because a lot of people have gotten this wrong over the years, um, calling this person Ali Lauren when it's not really a person, it's really a project name. Anyway, um, 
but but that he's open minded enough to like you know take on this project that has a lot of I mean uh, the Ali Lauren project was in my big fifty. Uh, you can read my review of that most recent album, but it it just takes all these different inspirations, all these different um, uh, genres and sounds, uh, some of which are maybe not even uh, the most you know, uh, like, like there's definitely an avant-garde element to some of it, um, which I would never perceive something like that at all, ever translating to something at a casino in Oklahoma. And yet here we have the Ali Lauren project is one of the four, uh, artists that's performing, uh, tonight. So it's, uh, it's the Ali Lauren project and Callow, who I'm a big fan of, made my big 50 the year prior, um, Hosty, um, and Travis Linville, both of whom were shortlisted. Not, not that my big 50 is all that big of a deal, but, um, big fan of Hosty, big fan of Travis Linville. Um, and even in that where those are, those two are kind of like the closest you have to country artists. Those two artists are so different. Uh, Travis Linville, much more of a uh, singer-songwriter uh, kind of situation where it's like, you know, one guy backed with a full band, uh, which you see a lot. And then uh, Mike Hosty, who is more of a one-man band type, uh, whose songs are a little bit more... Uh, he definitely has, you know, kind of like the traditional songs, but he also has his... He's, he's most known for his... Uh, his humor and his uh, novelty, I guess you would say. Um, but anyway, I just, I just, I gotta talk about this because it's so cool. I mean, they're each artist is really given uh, a decent amount of time to express who they are artistically, and then just the way that these uh, segments are filmed is is really wonderful, and I really love what they're doing here with this, and. It's all culminating season two with those four artists. They're all playing tonight on a bill that's 10 bucks, which is a steal at any theater you would go to. Um, not to even mention that this is happening at the Grand Casino Theater. So, you know, it's, it's a few miles out of town, but it's so worth going to. It's, it's a big stage that these artists really deserve to, to be on. And it's four wonderfully diverse, incredibly talented artists that don't always get their due, don't often get their due. And yeah, on top of that, the benefits of, uh, the, uh, the beneficiary, I should say, of, of this show, all, all proceeds are going to Rock and Roll Camp for Girls, Oklahoma City, which is a phenomenal organization I've talked about before. And so, there's just so many reasons to go to this. Uh, I regrettably cannot go because I booked a show prior to this being announced that I'm playing tonight or I would absolutely be there. Uh, but they're really, they're really wanting to see a turnout for this thing. And I, I really encourage everybody to go because if we don't go out and support this kind of stuff, you know, it's not going to happen anymore. So this is such a rare thing. I really, I really wanted to take the whole time for this vlog to really talk about how cool and how important and how lucky we are to have this. So, uh, with the minute that I have left, <laughs> um, I got to shout out Grand National who dropped a double album this week. Uh, really cool, low key kind of hip hop album. If you want something that's just really good mood music, it's really nice. Also Southwest Desk dropped a new album this week. Um, that's been pretty hyped, uh, a little bit more diverse in sound, um, allegedly worked from like 70 plus tracks and boiled it down to, you know, less than a dozen, which is awesome. Um, there's uh Bannister, uh, Bannister Chava dropped an album recently that I have not even talked about. I haven't even talked about Bannister, but he's a really cool singer songwriter. Um, who's mostly been playing the open mic circuits, but, you know, jazz guitar chords, uh, mixed with just really, uh, soulful and gorgeous, uh, singing. And, um, I haven't heard it yet, but I really want to. And, um, I guess that's it for the week.